All right, guys. Welcome to another adventure. My name is Star Peterson, and my goal here on this channel is to show you guys all the crazy and creative ways that you can get out into nature on the beautiful island of Saint Martin. Today, we can show you guys how to go snorkeling, and this is one of those destinations that you may be potentially going on. So, with no further ado, guys, welcome to your next adventure. Welcome to another adventure guys, we are at the beautiful Molo Bay Beach. You guys always ask me what's a good place to go snorkeling and this is it. This is one of my favorite spots on the island. Before we get in the water, I just want to mention that this episode is sponsored by the dive shop in Simpson Bay. I'm going to put their Facebook and address in the description. They sponsor this awesome rash garden um, swim shorts and also this awesome waterproof bag. One of the best waterproof bags I've ever come across, but we're gonna talk about this a little bit later. For now, let's get in the water. So, big tip for this snorkel trip is just hug the rocks, just follow the coastline and they're going to pretty much unveil all the little cracks and crevices that you're going to find all the fish and stuff like that. So we, we're just about to bend the corner from the beach and start heading towards Sunset Beach Bar. One thing I'd like to mention to you guys, especially those that come out and do this snorkel, is snorkeling is really about the little things. You know if you go scuba diving, it's a little bit different. You're going out into deeper waters, more fish. But when it comes to snorkeling, you're really taking your time hugging the rocks, looking for the tiny, tiny fish because a lot of these areas are going to be nurseries. So they come and lay the eggs and the little baby ones, they come and stay here so they have a little bit of protection. So I don't want to hear anybody come and say, oh, I didn't see any fish. There's a lot to see on this little swim that we're doing. So remember to pay attention to the little things and not the big ones when you go snorkeling. That's one thing to keep in mind when you're out here.
for this is I can't even spot number two. There's an awesome natural bridge on this snorkel. The water eroded underneath of it. So now you can flip into this awesome cave. And then there's a video here about the secret natural pool. It's right up in the corner. I put a card up in the corner for you guys to check that one out. But Like I say, a ram pack adventure filled snorkel trip. If you guys are looking for an awesome place to go snorkeling. number one again I recommend you have the proper gear and be familiar with your gear before you do something like this but this is just to showcase how amazing this super underrated snorkel spot is all we need now is a plane The goal here is to just showcase to you guys to Showcase to you guys the possibilities Always Adventure within your means Push yourself incrementally Don't go and do crazy adventures and you haven't done all the little ones before it Like I've been in the water all my life I've spent time diving around rocks so I know how to navigate, I know how to read the water well. See, this big wave just came up now. So guys, always be safe when you're out on the water doing adventures. The ocean is never forgiven. Always be careful. Alright guys, so it's time to talk about the waterproof bag that, that we came with and before we start I just want to make sure and make it clear that this is not a I say a flotation device if you, I don't recommend using this bag it's clearly, clearly stated there's not a flotation device so you're not gonna go in the water and use it the way we have and expect it to float you to safety or anything like that we use it primarily to just take our gear with us so I'm gonna open up the bag and see how dry our gear actually is so you can see here there's a little clip you unclip it roll it up so everything seems to be dry we have some yep everything is dry nothing wet so nice and open my wallet was in here. Wallet is dry. Booming. So guys, as far as the review goes, you can't beat it. And most water and the reason why this waterproof bag is already my favorite 
is because you have this organizing pocket so you can see I have my keys, my wallet, uh, my extra battery for the GoPro and most waterproof bags don't come with this option so you end up just everything sinking to the bottom and you end up fishing and digging for your stuff but with this bag from Gecko Brands they solve that issue and put a nice removable velcro pocket inside the bag to keep everything organized and that's why I really really like this bag already and I just put it through a big test like anything after this is a piece of cake for this bag right now so again the dive shop Simpson made sponsored this bag to me I just put it to the test if you guys looking to get adventure gear to come in on your snorkels that's definitely the place I would recommend and as always guys I, I, I say it every time invest in your gear get the best gear possible they're gonna last you longer you're gonna be confident with your gear and that's what's important so I'm about to get back in the water to go and check out cave number two We have another one right next to it. So we're gonna take you guys in and show you what it's all about. All right, guys. So if you got this far, please consider liking and subscribing this video. This is where you're gonna find all the adventure contents and Martin related so I'd, and I'd really appreciate it help me grow my channel if you guys are curious on what kind of gear I use to shoot these vlogs and go on my adventures I put all the links in the description so you can find my GoPro, my DSLR, all of that kind of stuff and that's a really cool way for you guys to support the channel and help me start to from making these awesome videos for you guys so let's go and check out the cave because this is the last awesome stop on our adventure before we get back to the beach as much water I've been here before to check it out to see if it was worthy of a vlog and that it is really cool spot if anybody knows any stories of these caves please drop a, a comment below let me know I'm sure every every one of these cool places have a weird story behind them but awesome little cave, pretty big. There you got a cool view coming out here. A little overexposed, but. <sighs>
Alright guys, so that's it for your awesome snorkel adventure off of Mullet Bay Beach. We're here by the Nesta Resort. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.